Hello students, today we are going to work with this model and this purple ink. This is ink being dropped into water here, it makes this kind of cool smoke effect. And we are going to blend this ink and this model together in a ethereal kind of effect. So first to get started, we're going to make a new image here. So we're going to go to file, we're going to go new, we're going to make a new image here going to be five inches by three inches. Make sure you are in inches. Relatively small image here. Make a 300 DPI. And then we're going to go ahead and create that. Make sure we have a white background. So there's our working surface here. So first thing, let's get our ink into our image. So when we look at our ink and we get in here close, we've got an isolated image that's on white background, but we've got a lot of negative area and opaque areas that we can kind of see through here. So if we went in here and we selected it with our auto selection tool here, we can grab it, but we've got some overlap and we're missing some of the negative areas and everything so there's a better way to do this so we're going to hit command d we're going to zoom out here and what we're going to do we're going to select by color range so we're going to go to select we're going to select color range okay it's going to bring up this field right here okay we're going to sample white right here so we're going to do sample colors and we've got our fuzziness here and Right around 100 is going to be good for us, so we're going to leave it right there. You can see our mask, everything looks pretty good. We're going to hit OK. And what that's going to do, it's going to take the mask and take everywhere it sees white. And when we go in here, we can see we did a pretty good job of selecting all of those areas and fuzzing around where we want to be. Okay, so we zoom out here. So now we have all the white selected. What we need is the purple ink, so we're going to invert that selection. We're going to go select and we're going to invert. So once we're inverted, we can copy by going edit copy command C. We're going to go into our new image and we're going to paste that. We're going to do command V. Okay, we're going to zoom way out here. We're going to get our move tool and we are going to shrink that way down. Get that up here. Now we're going to rotate. I'm going to hold down shift so I can rotate it right in nine exact because I want it right at 90 degrees move it down here and I want it just kind of like that off the edge and I'm going to hold down command because I want to stretch this out and warp it just a little bit about like that looks good we'll push return to commit that so we got our ink in there let's go ahead and we'll label that ink good organization now we're going to go over here to our model our model is isolated on a single background as well, so we should be able to select her pretty easily. So we're just going to go in with my auto selection tool and quickly select her. Let's go in here a little closer. And we have a pretty nice selection all the way around. It's just inside and it's doing a pretty good job. Right back here we've got some negative area, but we're not actually going to be using the back of her head, so it doesn't matter. So we're not worried about that. So we're going to go ahead and take that. Again, we're going to do Command C, go to our new image, hit Command V. Go ahead and paste her in there. We're going to get our Move tool. And we're going to move her into place. Size her up just a little bit here. I want her about like that. So get your image something like that. So their face is just kind of peeking in front of the smoke here. So when we make the mess together there. She looks like she's kind of emerging from the smoke. So we're going to play with mass today. So I know we're going to need a mask on our ink here. So let's start there. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a layer mask on that ink. And let's think when to earn a layer mask, how we're going to use this. Now what we want to do, first of all, we want to have a face kind of emerging from this, okay? And that's the effect. So I'm going to mask this behind her a little bit to kind of cut out the outline of her face. Um, so to do that, what we're going to do is first we're going to select her. So to select her, because she is the only image on there, 
she is super easy to select. We can just right click inside of the thumbnail there and say select pixels. And that's going to perfectly select it because she is the only thing in that layer. So from there, we're not going to paint on her. We're going to paint on the ink layer. And we want to paint not on the ink layer, but actually the mask for the ink layer. Now again, we're trying to paint on this side of here, not inside. So we're going to go ahead and invert that selection. So we're going to go select and we're going to invert it so that we're going to paint on here on our layer mask. White reveals, black conceals. So we're going to get a brush. I'm going to get a soft brush here. Make sure my opacity is up. About 125 is where I'm at. That sounds like a good place. So I'm going to paint with black and I am going to paint just on the edge. And what I'm going to do is just go around the edge of her face so that I can kind of cut her silhouette out of my image here. And if you go a little far, it's okay because we can always paint it back because we're doing a non-destructive method by painting on the mask instead of painting on the image. All right. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to go select and we're going to deselect or command D so that we're deselected. So now that we turn her off, we see we've got a nice silhouette there kind of cut where she is at. Sands her nose, of course. So we're going to turn her back on here. Now we are going to add a layer mask to her now. So we're going to add a layer mask to her. Oop. Oopsie, oopsie. Make sure you're on the right layer there. Add a layer mask to her. Now on her layer, we can be a little looser. We don't need a selection here. But we are going to paint on her and we are going to paint away her shoulders and all of her hair. So all the dark brunette hair is going to go away here and we're going to reveal the smoke behind her. So we're going to bring it up here first of all and we're going to make sure we are on the layer mask. We're going to make sure that we are painting with black because we want to conceal. And I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger here. I'm going to start down here at the shoulders and I'm going to start painting away her shoulders. Upper neck, <coughs> excuse me, and we're going to go up here and lightly paint away all of that hair so that we have this nice effect of her emerging from that smoke. And there we go. That's where I like to be, like right there. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Now. Now it's just a matter of touching up. So I'm going to go and I'm going to get a softer brush up here because I have a soft brush, but I can go a little bit softer because I'm now I'm just doing the nice light touches here. So I want to go up and get an even softer brush. So there's a soft round brush, but here we've got a soft pressure opacity brush here. And I can take that and let's go down a little bit here in size, about like that. And I'm going to take the opacity down on this even just a little. We're going to about halfway here. I'm going to paint on this layer mask here and I want a little bit of that white to go away. So I'm going to flip and paint white on the layer mask to reveal back some of that layer that's there. Kind of coming into her forehead. Getting that effect of her kind of emerging from this smoke here. It's kind of switching back and forth. Black one take right up there. <coughs> and you're just kind of going back and forth. You want to hide her neck a little bit more. And do that, remembering that black conceals white reveals on your mask, making sure you're painting on the mask. If you get to a place where you actually see black and white paint, you're probably painting on the layer and not on the layer mask. All right, so right there, we are pretty good with that. So what I wanna do now that I've got my smoke where I want, I'm gonna take her face and I wanna bring the vibrance of her up a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a 
new adjustment layer and I am going to add the vibrance adjustment layer to her okay now I want to affect just her face so what I'm going to do I'm going to auto select and I am going to auto select her face now I'm going to just go ahead and roughly go in here and I am going to deselect by holding down the option key and getting all the parts that I don't want out of there. So now I've got her face selected. Okay, because that is the only place that I want this vibrance to be affected. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to go on my mask here. Hit Command I to invert. Fills that selection with black. I'm going to deselect. Select my mask. Make sure I'm on the mask and hit invert again. And it'll color conceal everything except for where her face is. So now that when I affect this brightness and saturation layer, it's only going to affect her face. Like so. It won't affect anything else. So I'm going to take that vibrance and I just want to warm her face up a little bit here. Just her skin tone a little bit. I'll take it up to about 35 there. And I can take the saturation just a little bit to where I'm right. happy with it. Alright, and there we have our purple ink lady emerging from the smoke. 